Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, check it out. Today, we're gonna be talking about the runaway freight train that is with pricing and how expensive things are getting in our industry. All right, I got a lot of good thoughts. Let's check this out. All right guys, so if you're new to my channel and you guys don't know, my channel's all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it. Today, I'm driving along, I gotta run some errands, and really quick, I wanted to talk about a thought that has been on my mind a lot lately, and maybe get a discussion going here, and just love to hear what you guys are thinking, and, and that is the runaway freight train pricing on a lot of the equipment out there lately. A lot of you guys have seen things like um, the Toro Dingo, the Mulch Mate, uh, new stand down blowers and mowers, um, all this stuff, man, and it's like 10, 12, 15, 18. I think the new Toro Dingo XL 2000, TXL 2000, is like $40,000, right? And it's just boggling my mind. In fact, I was talking to one of you guys just a little while ago, talking about the runaway prices and how expensive a lot of this stuff is. And the point of the conversation that he actually came up with was uh, he had heard that there is a tree company in Ohio. And if you guys know anything about trees and that whole industry, there's only a few big companies out there, so I don't have to give out names. But they were talking about the fact that that company alone, going into the new year, needs 2,000 new employees just to replenish the ranks to be able to tackle all the work that they have. Every year, they need 2,000 2, new employees. And I was just thinking to myself, small business owner, owner operator, you guys see that I have one to three guys on my channel, Mike, Brandon, an employee here or there. Uh, but the reality is that we only run a small operation, a small outfit, right? And I can only imagine having to come up with 2,000 employees a year. And it got me thinking about the new upgrades in equipment, how expensive things are, the new machines out there, and how much easier they're making life. And not only that, but just how many uh, opportunities you have to eliminate labor, right? So let's go into some ideas, some numbers, and for real, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts because I wanna know if this stuff is justifiable. I wanna know if, if I'm not the only one feeling it in the purse strings as a small business owner, uh, when you start looking at some of these prices. Like, let's talk about the Toro Dingo TXL 2000. $40,000. Let's talk about the Hurricane Blowers, the Z3 and the X3. Those were recently bought out by Billy Go, right? Uh, what, nine, 10, 12, $14,000? It's just getting pretty crazy. Um, the new mowers, in fact, I'm in the market for a new uh, zero turn and a stand down. We have some stuff we're working out with Xmark, might get a brand deal, just working on some stuff, can't say anything. Super excited about that for a stand down demo, right? But in the meantime, I am going to probably trade it in my Laser Z because it's breaking down, it has 1500 hours on it and it's about due right and so i'm thinking to myself let's look at new lawnmowers so i started doing some pricing and some researching at my dealer fifteen thousand four hundred dollars for the replacement mower of the one i want okay so let's keep it going what else do i have here the toro grandstand multi-force a lot of you guys like that thing I did not like that thing. That thing, uh, I, I just didn't like it. I'm not going to go into it. Watch the other videos on the Toro Dingo uh, or the Toro Grandstand. Uh, but let's talk about that thing. 10, 12, 14 grand base. And then each attachment, seven, eight, 10, $12,000. It's just, I don't know. Maybe that's chump change for you. For me, um, you know, we, we run a decent little business and I could buy a lot of this stuff. We could pay cash for a lot of this stuff. But uh, generally speaking, a lot of stuff I would still have to finance even at my level. Been doing this for 10 years and um, it's not really the time in the business. It's just how much are you making, but I'm just talking about the numbers in general. They're getting a little crazy. Uh, and then let's talk about backpack blowers, 600, 650. Some of them are almost 700 bucks, man. And if you're a new guy getting into the industry, you're like, how do people even make money? That's a great question. How do people even make money in this industry with $700 black backpack blowers and $14,000 lawnmowers? Dude, no kid, right? Uh, we all feel the same way. Here's the, the conversation I wanted to have is think about this. Imagine if you're the company that needs 2,000 new employees per year not 98.6s right not a warm body this is tree work i'm not a tree guy i respect the tree guys you guys eat me up when i do tree videos and i love it because i'm not a tree guy i think i said that 
17 times in one of my chainsaw videos, right? Um, but imagine if you need 2,000 skilled laborers. Imagine if you're uh, Brylar, Brightview, you know, 17 different names later, right? Because, you know, everybody keeps buying each other out. Um, and you need 5,000, 10,000 new employees per year to keep your business going. Do these new pieces of equipment justify the investment? That's my question. When you look at a, a mulch mate, right? And you break it down labor cost wise for three or four guys out there slinging mulch at 15 bucks an hour and you have four or five guys and you're laying, I don't know, a thousand yards of mulch, right? You're a bigger company, 10,000 yards of mulch, I don't even know. Um, I think an 18 to $22,000 mulch mate could be justifiable under the right circumstances and the right business model. You know, a lot of us, we look at Toro Dingo, the TXL 2000, right? 40 some thousand, probably without attachment. So probably 50, 60 grand. I don't know, somebody leave me a price what those are going for. I couldn't even find it. But if you imagine this, let's say you've got four or five guys out there and that Toro Dingo TXL 2000 can replace two different guys at, you know, 15 grand a year in labor costs or 18, or maybe it's a really, uh, some higher skilled guys and it's $22 an hour, right? Um, I, I think, some of those machines could be justifiable. Now, again, I don't know. That's why I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Like a mower for 10, 12, 15 gram, uh, you can make 10x on that. You can make multiples on a mower. That's that's pretty pretty easy to do as long as you have somewhat decent pricing. I feel like you could do that. But uh, and backpack blowers, man, 700 bucks for some of these backpack blowers almost. It's just I don't know. I feel like the pricing and I get inflation. I get quantity, you know QE. I get I get um, you know prices go up every year, but the honest answer is too is that holy cow man i just i don't understand where some of the pricing comes into play but i am starting to realize that a little bit more the bigger my company gets the more that people just want stuff to get done it's becoming harder and harder to find good work good help good labor um i don't know if you guys can feel that pain for me personally it's always when i find a good employee man uh, they're worth their weight in gold i guess that's my question to you guys is what do you think about the pricing of new equipment i know this is just uh, kind of a little bit of a rant here but I just don't know if some of this equipment is justifiable or is some of it justifiable. Now, a lot of these uh, new mowers and new pieces of equipment, they have things like EFI and comfort and they can replace two or three guys and just a, a bunch of little variables here where I can start to see how if you have five guys on a site at 15 bucks an hour and you're running some crazy labor rates or if you have two guys on a site, uh, owner operator style, but with a Toro Dingo uh, or a hurricane blower or a mulch mate, could you start making your money back faster and having a smaller rig, more productivity, more profit. I think the days of cheap labor and an abundance of labor are kind of uh, on the way out of our industry. By the way, it's manual labor, it's blue collar, it's everywhere, man. Pipe fitters, electricians, construction, roofers. Ev I mean, every pasty white kid in America like myself who wants, you know, who's 18 to 25 wants 15, $18 an hour starting. You can't even, they can't even start a trimmer or use a backpack blower, but they all want 15, 18 bucks an hour. And I'm just thinking to myself like, hey, uh, a hurricane blower that's 14 gram seems a little bit more justifiable when I don't need to have two or three kids running around. Uh, a Toro Dingo that can, you know, has a grappler for logs and trees and tree guys, uh, you know, 40 grand, you're like, that's insane. Maybe, but now we have three tree guys making 18 to $22 an hour each. Maybe you can go to two guys in a big Toro Dingo. So I guess that's my million dollar question to you guys. Is this kind of stuff justifiable or do you guys think it's a runaway freight train? Uh, I get prices are up, inflation's up, it's 2018. I'm not like, back in my day, we used to buy a Ford truck for $32,000. I get that. Uh, but at the same point, at the same point, I guess that's my million dollar question to you guys. Do you feel like the prices right now are a runaway freight train or some of this new equipment is justifiable because maybe it's just me, but it's becoming harder and harder to find good help, reliable help, good labor, I don't wanna say cheap labor, but just people that know what they're doing and want to be available and show up on time. You know, I heard somebody say recently, you know, a, a backpack blower never calls in sick, a hurricane blower uh, never calls in sick, a, a lawnmower uh, never has a hangover, right? And so thing, equipment breaks down, so there's it's never perfect there either. But uh, you know, that's where I'm seeing some of these more expensive pieces of equipment. And I feel like, you know what? the price might be justifiable. So anyway, that's just my thought, just a fun little video for you guys. Leave me a comment down below, love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, it definitely means a lot. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here. Maybe these will help you out as well. And guys, we'll see you on the next one.